Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you guys. I haven't done this for a couple of months and it's really unusual because I've been doing haul videos every month when I started my channel but for some reason I just stopped doing that and uh, I'm into start again but maybe not do it every month, maybe every second month. I don't know, let me know down below if you're interested to see that. Products that I got that I'm very excited to try and please let me know down below if you tried some of these I would love to know so if you're interested then please keep on watching who couple of products didn't arrive so I'm just going to mention them in this video I bought the Hello Beauty again I use packaging like this keep my brushes in but I bought for three more months and I can't wait for it to arrive again because it did help me get my hair back and kind of make my hair feel good and be healthy I lost a lot of hair a couple of months ago last year um, during the spring I just lost a lot of my hair it was very sad I had to cut a lot of it too so it's getting back and Hello Beauty is one of the products that really helped my hair grow again. I've been using it for since August last year, or is it? No. I think it's since July, since July last year. Okay, but I'm waiting for my new package to arrive with that. Can't wait. And also, I bought Pixie Skin Treat Re Retinol Tonic, Retinol Tonic, can't pronounce this. I heard so many good reviews of that rose something tonic from Pixie, but that was more for uh, dry skin, I think. So that is why I went with this one. And uh, this is Retinol and Jasmine Flower Advanced Youth Preserving Toner. Can't wait to try it. This multiple action treatment with time re release retinol also replenishes skin with potent antioxidants used daily after cleansing. Sounds good product, heard so good, many good things about Pixie skincare. Can't wait to try it and see what I what we, it will do to my skin. So I like it. It says uh, extra hold makeup finishing spray, it dries down to a matte finish. Sounds good to me. I have oily skin or oily T-zone, so this sounds good. Wasn't very expensive either, so so I'm curious to see if this one is going to work for me. I went and bought again this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in shade 3. I had this last year during the summer and early fall, I think, and I loved it. I really love this foundation, and I think the shade 3 suited me perfectly. It was a little bit darker, but I do prefer darker shades. And I went and bought it again because I liked, liked it that much. Yes. Yes. This is perfect shade for me. And it's a light beige. I love this foundation. It's full coverage. It really stays on the whole day and I love it. So I went and bought that again. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I I do have a lot of foundations and one of the foundations that I really love is Act Isadora Active and I also like the um, Revolution one like a Dolpho applicator. It's what I have on my skin right now. This one, uh, Conceal and Define Foundation, it's what I have on today. I ordered some new foundation. I ordered a new foundation from Revolution. This one, this is Matte Base Pore Blurring Full Coverage Foundation. I bought this in shade 7 and also I bought it in shade 8. I have shade 8 from that other foundation on today and I bought this in 7. They didn't have it on Beauty Bay. I ordered this packaging from Beauty Bay, this foundation from Beauty Bay, and uh, they didn't have number 8, so I went over to Revolution's website, Revolution Beauty, and ordered number 8. So I'm waiting for that foundation to come because I like to have at least two sh different shades. 
I like I like to have different shades in same same foundation. And if something is too light for me, I'm going to give it to my sister because she does wear just a little bit lighter foundation than I have. And yeah, I'm very excited to try this because I do have very large pores and I do have very oily T-zone. So I like my foundations to be matte and also pore blurring. So this is this sounds interesting. Can't wait to try it. That is coming on this channel soon. A review of that foundation. I also just reviewed a, uh, this uh, Mattify primer from Revolution that I really like. And I'm almost, I'm done with this. This is Pore Primer from Revolution that I really, really like. And I'm done with it. It's empty. So I said in a video that I'm not going to buy that because of the packaging I didn't like. So I went to order a new one. This is also from Revolution. Pore Blur, Blur and Prime Primer from Revolution. I don't know if there is any difference between these two. I will check it out, what's different be, uh, different between these two, because they are both pore primers. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try it. Can't wait. So that is coming on my channel. And I also bought the new primer from Revolution that is black, but it's turn, it turns to translucent when you put it or when you blend it into the skin. So. That one sounds interesting, so I bought that one too. I'm waiting for it to come, to arrive. Okay, two more products that I bought from Revolution. I actually bought more shades, but I'm waiting for them to arrive because I bought these from Beauty Bay, but I'm waiting for my package from Revolution Beauty to arrive soon. This is Matte Base Concealer, Full Coverage Concealer, number seven and also number six. And I bought number 12, that is a um, neutral, a more tan color to use as a contour or as a bronzer. So I'm interested to see how these are going to work. And I bought, this is Adele Photo Face Matte Foundation, Soft Focus Flawless Finish. I don't remember seeing this before. This is uh, the Photo Face Matte Foundation from Adele. I bought this in shade light three. It, they didn't have so many shades and it was hard for me to choose a shade. And this wasn't very expensive, so I did, could order it, but it looks very dark here. I don't know, it says light, so let's see. I do like my foundation to be a little bit darker, but there is also a limit how dark it can be. I don't like the packaging though. I don't like not being able to see how much product it is, it is in here, but, but it's a very interesting packaging. So let's open it and swatch it. Oh, it's coming out already. Oh, it looks so beige. It is a little bit darker. Let me swatch it next to the Milani. Okay, so this is Milani and this is Ardell. Similar, this one is more beige and this is more like a pink undertone. I don't know. I don't know, but we are going to try it. I will definitely look weird, but I'm going to try it. Why not? Interested. I love trying new foundation and I love trying new mascaras. That's my thing. Then the thing I'm very excited about is this a package from Revolution. This I bought all of the shades. I can't wait to play with them. Let's swatch. Let's swatch. Well, I want to swatch this one. Everything is so sealed. It's so hard to open this. I'm going to swatch. They are sticking to my hand. I'm going to swatch its fate. Let's swatch this side. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my God, that looks so metallic and nice. 
I wanted to buy something similar like this from, uh, but one side is matte and one is metallic from Huda Beauty. The problem was they were out of stock, some of the shades, and I didn't want to buy one shade. I wanted to buy all of them, so I got matte and I never ordered them. But this is the glittery shade. Ooh, I like that. It goes on so even. I like that. Can't wait to try them. Wait, I need to try the, uh, this one. The red one. I need to try the red one. Let's watch it. Okay, let's try this shade. This is desi desired. It looks stunning. Dries down very fast. I like that. So a review of uh, and a makeup look with these is coming soon on my channel. So I'm interested to try all of the shades. But they look stunning, really. Okay, let's see, what do we have more? Oh yes, we do have more, more. This is going to be a lot of uh, Revolution stuff, just uh, because Revolution came out with so many new products. I feel like they release a new product every second day and I can't really keep up with them, but I do love the brand. So if there is something that really speaks to me, and I feel like I have to have it, I buy it. One of my most watched video was when I reviewed the banana powder and the lace powder from Makeup Revolution when I applied it to my skin. It was a very old, old video, not really proud of how it kind of turned out. Uh, it's also one that uh, people don't like a lot, but the powder were interesting. So. Of course I had to buy this. This is the new Bake and Blot from Revolution. I needed a new powder, new blot powder, because I don't have any. So I went with three different shades. I bought this one in um, lace, but I have the loose powder too. Won't open it. Then I have in shade um, translucent, of course. And the shade that I'm most excited about to try is Banana Light. I tried that banana powder and it was too too dark on my skin. But uh, I know many people love banana powders using them under the eyes because it does bright, it makes the under eyes very bright and look healthy. So I'm excited to try this one light and see if it's going to be good for my skin too. So I'm going to try all of these on my face one day soon. So if you're interested to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because our review is coming. And of course, wear test. I do need to try everything and wear it for hours. And then something else I have. Okay, this will be the last product from Revolution, I promise. It's Beauty Bay really packed everything good. I ordered this from Beauty Bay too. The powders, I think, were from Makeup Revolution. But these are from Beauty Bay. This is matte powder from Revolution. This is number eight and number one. I also bought number 12 that is coming with other products from Revolution that I talked about and mentioned in this video because I wanted to try and see if there is any different. I thought that they are going to be the same shade as the foundation Right now, when I look at this number eight, it doesn't really look that. It looks to be a little bit darker, but I will definitely use it as my highlight. My highlight. What am I talking about? Highlight? Crazy I am. Bronzer. So I'm definitely excited to try these two. So these will come and I will review them with the other when the other shades arrive that I ordered from this powder. I hate ordering from different websites, but that happened this time. Okay, from So So Brand, and uh, the first time I heard about Kaylee, I love her, I love her videos, I immediately subscribe, and I love, love her brushes, these brushes. I use them every day, I think they are one of the best brushes ever. This is, you need this brush. So, of course, I went and bought the this one, Premium Makeup Brushes, the Eye Collection. I always love buying brushes. And I have so many fake brushes that I need to get rid of. So I'm buying something new. I don't know. These are cruelty-free, vegan. 
love. If you haven't tried anything from this brand, you have to. They are amazing. Amazing. You can buy them on Beauty Bay or on their website. Then I have two more products. One I received today and I ordered it, ordered it, ordered, bought it a couple of months ago. So I, I forgot what it was. Nursery Magic Treatment. Five seconds to restore soft hair. This is the jar, this is the packaging. And it says, based on study of more than hair, more than hair situation of one, 10,000 customers developed this care product with high technology in, imported raw material combined with fine molecule technology, five seconds to make your hair smooth and soft. Use. Whipping it on the hair after washing, do not touch the scalp. Use pulp containerly massage hair to help hair faster absorb nutrition. You will find the hair instantly becomes softer, smoother. Recommend massage hair for two to five minutes. That will get the better results. So I saw this on, uh, I think it was on Instagram a couple of months ago. And of course I... Okay, I know commercials and Instagram and ads really exaggerate and really lie maybe, lie in their commercials about the products, but I was sold. I always get sold. I always get in that trap and need to try it myself. But I do that for you guys, so you don't uh, go and spend your money on something that doesn't work. I'm going to try this baby. That I that Coco and Eve mask, hair mask that everybody loves, really didn't work on me. I just finished it. Didn't work. I had it on my hair yesterday. And this is how it looks. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not what you see on Instagram. Maybe it will work on you, but it didn't work for me. Oh, I miss my long hair. Okay, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to put this to the test. Let me open and smell it. I'm interested to see what it is. And I expected it to be a little bit bigger because this wasn't really cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but I know it wasn't cheap. It's very... It smells nice. It's white. You know, I don't think you need a lot of it, but we'll see. I'll try it and I'll let you know. I hope I don't lose all of my hair. Probably won't, but you never know. Okay, the last product, and I promise it's the last. It's one that I bought today. The Birds and Bees Honey and Grapeseed Hand Cream. This was very expensive. Okay, this was over 120. It's, it's around, around 130 Swedish crowns. What will be which will be around thirteen dollars? So for me, that's expensive for a hand cream because you can get a cheaper ones that are very good too. But I was really tr interested to see. I want to buy. I want to try birds and bees. Be birds and bees blushes, but they are not available in Sweden, unfortunately. Oh my God! This doesn't smell good. I hate hand creams that smell strong. Oh, this is see-through. What did I buy? Oh my God, this stinks. I just regret buying this. I want my money back. It feels so soft. Sinks in very fast, but... Oh God. I'm going to, I'm going to throw up these stinks. This natural hand cream com combine honey, kuku, kuku, kupu, 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 kupu something, kupu luku, I don't know, <laughs> butter and vitamin rich grapeseed and macadamia oil to moisturize, nourish and recondition dry overworked hands. Apply liberally as needed daily. Do not use for children under three years. Sink into the skin very fast and really feels soft. I like how it feels. But God, oh, this stinks. I don't know. I bought it. 
need to use it because I'm out of my other hand cream and it's expensive so I will use it but it's good because it's 99% natural it's cruelty free it's very good it's made in US USA it sounds being it sounds to be a good hand cream please let me know down below if you tried it I think it stinks so guys I think that was everything I mean I bought a couple of other products that will arrive soon and also other products that I'm already reviewing on my channel oh I also bought I'm sorry I forgot to say new makeup revolution mascara that I'm going to put in my future giveaways so because I do like it I have it on my eyes today and that was everything guys I hope you liked this video if you did give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I try everything here and thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.